While we are seeing a bit of a break from the snow tonight, the white stuff's paralyzed flights in the United Kingdom, stranding American passengers trying to return home to the states for the holidays, including a local woman. Yeah, first a look at what's being called the flight mare before Christmas. Only a few of the 400,000 passengers scheduled to pass through Heathrow actually made it. The world's busiest international airport brought to a virtual standstill on the busiest travel weekend of the year. British officials knew the snow was coming, but there was little they could do. Britain isn't used to weather like this, and it is not equipped to deal with it. Now, in the middle of all those thousands of passengers stranded was a 20-year-old Northeast Ohio student. Kristen Severance with our partners at the Ohio News Network talked to her and her family today, and Chris joins us now with more, and I bet she never thought she'd miss Ohio quite so much, Chris. Exactly. Jenna Miller was visiting friends in Wales for three weeks. Now she's stuck in a London hotel room, running out of money and medicine. Jenna Miller has dozens of presents under the tree, but all she wants for Christmas is to get home to Barberton. Training and scary, and I'm just, you know, I spent, you know, yesterday morning crying because, you know, I, I miss my family. The 20 year old Ohio University junior was visiting friends in Europe over winter break. She was supposed to fly out of Heathrow Sunday, but a winter storm caused chaos at the airport. To me, it wasn't that much snow. You know, I'm from Northeast Ohio, so I'm used to lake effect snow. Oceans away, it was enough snow to ground planes and shut down the airport. I've never seen anything like this before. There was hundreds and hundreds and hundreds of people just like laying on the ground. Miller's phone isn't working overseas. The pay phones wouldn't take credit cards and the hotel rooms were quickly filling up. Back home, her mother was worried sick, especially because Miller has asthma and only has medicine for a few more days. You know, she's 20 years old. She's alone. She's a girl. You know, um, she's vulnerable. Uh, she lost all her American money. Miller was able to get a hotel room. Her mother booked her another flight home for Thursday, but she still wants answers. I just don't understand why nothing is being done. It just seems like our airlines, the, the, the U.S. airlines, need to help these people. They need to get whatever equipment, whatever de-icing, whatever they need to get over there to get all of these people home. Okay, and I talked to a spokesman with Continental. They told me they are only going to fly out of London when conditions are as safe as possible. And because this is a, quote, act of God, they are not providing vouchers or accommodations for any passengers. Miller's flight is supposed to arrive Thursday in Cleveland, and we're all keeping our fingers crossed for her. Live in the newsroom, I'm Kristen Severance, The Ohio News Network.